Hello, and welcome to a housing, part of our housing webinar series for students selecting their housing for 2021-2022 academic year. My name is Countess Hughes. I'm the Assistant Director of Assignments, and I'll be your hostess for this webinar on off-grounds housing options. So remember, as you go forward and you, you're thinking about your housing for the next academic year, remember you have time and you have choices. Deciding where to live is an important decision. So take your time and weigh all of your options. There's no housing shortage in the UVA Charlottesville area. There are an abundance of options. And remember that you don't have to decide right now that there will be off-grounds housing available throughout the summer, throughout the spring, and throughout the summer. Now, if you have a very specific space that you want and you can only have that space, then you may wanna decide sooner rather than later. Also remember, if you're considering living on grounds for the 2021-22 academic year, that's a separate process and you wanna make sure that you follow the deadlines in regards to on-ground housing application and selection. Important things to consider if you're thinking about living off grounds is that don't sign on the dotted line until you've consulted with family members or the folks in your life who you depend upon to assist you with your large decision-making. Housing is is a big financial commitment and you wanna make sure that you're all set before you sign on the dotted line. Make sure you review all leases and agreements with the adults in your life or your advisors or mentors. There is an option here this, with the student legal services. They will assist you in the reviewing of your um, lease. Visit as allowed the places um, where you're thinking about living or share those places with the folks in your life who are important to you. Make sure that you assess the building condition and safety as much as you can. And make sure that you understand exactly what the rent includes. Sometimes rent includes partial utilities. Sometimes it doesn't include utilities at all. So you wanna make sure that you understand what the rent includes and any other deposits or things that you're being charged, you wanna make sure you understand what they're covering and how you get them back if applicable. Make sure that you think about your lease length. Are you just gonna be here for the academic year or might you be here throughout the summer? So will an academic year lease work for you or a nine month lease or would you be better with a 12 month lease? Again, all things to consider when you're thinking about your housing for the next academic year. So there are many off-grounds options and locations. So you wanna think about the housing style that you want. Do you want a large apartment complex or a small apartment complex? Do you wanna live in a, a freestanding house or a house that houses many folks? You wanna think about the location do you wanna be near the corner or JPA or Rugby Road or the Scott Stadium area? Um, how long, how much time do you want it take? Do you want it to take you to get to class or to your job or to other extracurricular activities? You wanna think about the priorities and the amenities of the places that you're looking at. So I think that cost generally is a large consideration location um, is usually next. And we already talked about uh, lease length options. Uh, you wanna think about what type of Wi-Fi they have or what the house looks like or what the apartment looks like. Um, in, in terms of your amenities, do you want your own bedroom? Do you want your own bathroom? Um, and many of the off-grounds locations have uh, things like pools and gyms and study areas. And you wanna think about how important those amenities are to you. And then also think about, will you actually use those amenities? And you wanna be sure you understand how the rent is billed. There are some places that bill by the bedroom and you're only accountable 
for the rent for your bedroom. And then there are some places that bill by the apartment. So it may be a four bedroom apartment, um, but if someone is unable to return in your group and there ends up being three of you, then all three of you would be responsible for the rent for the whole apartment. So you wanna make sure that you understand how the rent is billed and paid. So now you're like, well, now that I know those things and I'm considering those things, how do I find off-grounds housing? Well, we're in partnership with a company called Off Campus Partners and they facilitate the off-grounds housing website. So you'll go on to that site, create an account. You can create and view roommate profiles, compare favorite properties, contact landlords directly. And don't forget about our virtual fair on the 17th of February. But you're like, but wait, I want more details about how to search the website. Well, Off Campus Partners has put together a fine tutorial. So I'm gonna switch over from our PowerPoint to the PowerPoint provided about the website. Welcome to the University of Virginia Off Grounds Housing website. Um, here you can sign up for the virtual fair. Just click there to register on the actual website. Um, there's an opportunity to start your search here. Property listers can list properties there. Um, and again, be safe for all of us. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is go here to sign in or sign up. Click there and then this will pop up over here and you will select UVA students, faculty and staff and sign up. Use your email here and create, create an account. Now, if you have family members or people who also wanna sign up, they can sign up here under guests so that they can see some of the same things that you're seeing in terms of searching for off-grounds housing. So once you have your account, you click here for housing and you can use this basic search bar for things like pricing type, number of beds and baths, building type, et cetera. Or if you wanna take a look in really narrow down your search, you can use some of these search options as well. But remember, the more things that you click, the fewer results you might get. So another option is to use the map version here so that if there's a particular area that you're interested in, you can click on one of the map pins to see what apartment or house or listing is available in that area. You can also click here to get uh, more property information. Also, one of the features um, that you may have in the different listings, you'll have photos and floor plans, you get a link to the property website, uh, a features and amenities list, a property description and specials, the calculated distance to um, the UVA grounds, the walk score, transit score, and bike score. The other thing you can do is contact the property by phone or email right from the listing. Well, you're like, but wait, I have a place, but now I need a roommate. You can also use the website to search for roommates. So create a listing with the details about your place and link it to your profile. And then you <clears throat> can, people looking for roommates can uh, reach out to you and say, hey, you live in a great place. Seems like we have some of the same uh, values and habits. I would like to be a roommate. And so that's one way to perhaps fill your roommate group uh, for the place where you live. So that's a really nice option available on this website as well. It also has a list of resources and helpful things. And even if you're on the off-grounds housing website, you can click back to on-grounds housing. So this is a great way to stay connected with UVA and explore area information and services. 
And if you need help, as I said, the website is created by our partners at Off Campus Partners. And so if you need help with the website, you can reach out to, to their support team, either by phone or by email. And you see the contact information here at the bottom of the slide. I wanna thank them for putting together that presentation, a PowerPoint, and now back to our regularly scheduled information. All right, so now that we've had our tour of the off-grounds housing website, you're, you're ready for the next steps. So as you continue your search, make sure you consider all of your options. You now know how to go to the off-grounds housing website and search. Some of our other webinars talk about our on-grounds housing options. Make sure, make sure that you search our on-grounds housing options. We have our um, past webinars that are available. So check out our social media so you can see some of those options if you've missed our previous webinars. If you have questions, I'm available um, every Tuesday and Friday in the month of February from 11 to one on Zoom. Stop by, we can talk about what your options are or you can ask questions. You wanna make sure that you're clear and get everything answered before you sign on that dotted line. But at the end of the day, don't stress, you got this. Um, it is a big decision, but it's also only a decision for the next year. So consider your options carefully, inquire and uh, talk to those folks in your life who help you with your major decisions. Don't rush, there are a lot of options. What the most important thing to remember is once you commit yourself, you are committed. They are legally binding. So you wanna make sure once you sign that you're comfortable with where you're living. And you can always contact us at housing at virginia.edu or give us a call 434-924-3736 and have a great day.